Hey guys, the UC Gamer here to bring you another Flash game, and boy have I found an amazing one this time. What game am I talking about? Why well, I'm talking about Daymare Cat, of course, and today we will try to determine whether this Flash game is worth your time. So without further ado, let's take a look at Daymare Cat. First of all, what exactly is a Daymare Cat? Is it like Teen Wolf with a cat face? Is it a werewolf that transforms during the day? Whatever it is, the game clearly feels this is not important. Speaking of important things, the game just drops you off in the middle of nowhere, gives you some keyboard controls, and then you're on your own. Thanks? Anyways, you're trapped in this rather creepy town, and you must escape. Huh, must be like Groundhog Day or something. To escape, you must find several discs littered across the town, and place them in each record player. It's pretty sweet because when you accomplish this, one of the instrumental parts of the ending song plays. It may not sound exciting, but listen to this! I really like how they divide that song up creating multiple songs. It's a pretty cool idea that really gives you a motivation to finish the game. Moving on, Daymare Cat is a semi-platforming puzzle game. The art style is good and very stylized. I mean, look at this cave! There was a lot of attention to detail. Look at those shrooms! You see those shrooms? Look at those shrooms! Look at them! Detailed! Beautiful! Because of the art design, it is no surprise how atmospheric the game is, and ultimately this is what makes this game. Everything from the art style to the sound effects are just plain eerie and contributes to its scary tone. To be critical for a minute, the art style makes it rather difficult to determine what is a platform and what is part of the background. I know this may sound crazy, but in my opinion, just leave it in. Why you ask? Because you're constantly wandering around adds more length to this game, which is probably my biggest criticism. The game is roughly 20 minutes long. 20 minutes long? I suggest making another game with the same concept, but include perhaps several towns or simply a larger town to add some game length. I honestly was like when it ended, that's it? No more? Seriously? And I can kind of see why the developers left the game so short. I'm sure drawing all that was not a quick endeavor to say the least. However, I think this game would be a lot better if it were longer. Also, because of the art style, this game will make you say, what's this, more times than Jack Skellington. What's this? What's this? There's color everywhere. What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? I can't believe my eyes. I must be dreaming. Wake up, Jack. This isn't fair. What's this? Also, there's some really weird choices regarding this game. Not bad, just weird. For example, why cockroach? Or why five dice? Why this doodad? Or this dingly gobnot? I guess I just don't understand. So is Daymare Cat worth your time? Yes. Should everyone play Daymare Cat? Absolutely. Maybe even twice. The art style is so good, the music is captivating, and the game overall is super atmospheric, so it's definitely worth a try. I left a link to the game in the description below. Well that about does it for me, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you know when new episodes come out. This has been the Ugly Couch Gamer. Oh, and by the way, the gargoyle says eh. <laughs>